Hey guys, Thunder E here. We're out here in San Francisco. We got to check out the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 3100 wear platform. This thing packs in a lot of cool features that makes me think, what is the future of smartwatches? And let's start off with something that I actually checked out a while back, the Tick Watch Pro. Now that was running the 2100 platform. We had a device that had, of course, a dual display and also gave us a battery life of 30 days, which was awesome. But think about it. The Snapdragon 3100 uh, wear platform brings in a couple of really unique features. First off, of course, is the traditional watch mode, which basically gives you two complications on the watch face, but that gives you an extended battery life of up to 30 days. Now, with the Twitch Watch Pro, you never had that, but they had 30 days, so which means they probably could extend it to about 60. Now, think about the amount of time you can use your watch. That is absolutely amazing. Now, the other thing they also talked about, of course, is the new interactive mode and the ambient mode. Now, ambient mode back in the day was very dull. It was just basically a black watch face and that was it. But now, the interactive mode and ambient mode are pretty much the same. And I got to check it out on the brand new Mont Blanc watch, the Summit 2. Oh my God, that thing was beautiful. And it's a stylus watch. And that's one of the partners that's actually gonna be releasing a watch with Snapdragon Wear 3100, October 2nd. Gotta check that out. I wish I could cop that. I wish I had the money, but seriously, that watch <laughs> is dope. Anyway, the other thing they also talked about, of course, on here is, of course, uh, Google showed off a brand new Wear OS platform, which is really cool. Brought some new features. Now, you guys know I've not been the biggest fan in the past, but what they showed made it easy to access with the four quadrants, where you can easily jump into, say, Google Fit. You can also go into your notifications quite quickly. You can go into the settings and change things as well, and easily slide into Google Assistant. Those kind of changes to what the watch can do, I think makes a whole lot of sense. And the biggest thing, of course, is the new sports experience. One that allows you to do up to 15 hours of sports activity, whether you're running or like me doing Muay Thai or working out with Jaime, um, you know, he works out sometimes. But doing those kind of things uh, with 15 hours of battery life on in a dedicated sports mode, to me, that aspect is really awesome, which means it's running your GPS. Because right now, when you go into sports mode on the watch or you do an activity, your battery life just pretty much drains. You get about 30% or 40% lot of battery life. Now you can last for up to 15 hours. Think about that. That is a huge improvement. Now they announced a bunch of partners. As I mentioned, there was Mont Blanc. There was also, of course, Louis Vuitton. So you guys like the style, you're gonna get a watch from them. And as well as Fossil Group, who have a lot of devices. I'm a big Skagen fan. And they have some really cool stuff coming up. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Snapdragon Web 3100 platform, what it can do, wait. Now speaking about that processor, it's a brand new architecture. They've got a co-processor built into this. And what's really cool about this brand new co-processor is that it can run everything on the watch on its own and it is absolutely fantastic. What that means is that basically 95% of the time, the core processor is doing all the work, which means you're using less battery life. But if you combine that with the main processor, you're getting basically extended battery life and better performance all around. So this thing's pretty dope. What it brings to the table and how it takes your smartwatch experience forward. I can't wait to see what TickWatch Pro does with the next version, especially how they did with the TickWatch Pro, Pro and they might do with the Pro, Pro 2 or Pro 3, whatever you want to call it. Could expand the battery life to 60 days, 90 days, who knows? But to me, this is actually exciting. So leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.